Hello everybody, it's Claire here and welcome to another video. I'm on my local canal, the Tame Valley Canal and guess what? I've actually seen a narrow boat. I've seen one or two but not that many using the canal. This is the captain of the Fanny Summers. There she rides, sails should I say. And I'm going to take you all on a walk of this section of the canal. So I hope you enjoy. I love this little spot here. It's quite tranquil. But what isn't so tranquil, there you, are, you can see the locks there. What isn't so tranquil is when I turn around, well, isn't so tranquil on the ears is this. construction site for the 2022 Commonwealth Games and this is going to be the athletics venue let me move up slightly and then you can see them there this is going to be the athletics venue for the Commonwealth Games 2022 and it's all under construction that stand there that, I'm, that you can see there that stand is an existing stand so is that one really but I think they've just added to it maybe because yeah let me just think my daughter my eldest daughter she um, used to come here to uh, an athletics club many years ago when she was younger So yes, and up here, if we keep on walking, I assume is the practice track. I don't know if you can see a little bit there, the blue track there. That must be the practice track. If we go a bit further up we can see a little bit more What little workout. <laughs> this towpath here is used mainly by walkers and people on bicycles. Um, it doesn't get overly busy, but people do use it recreationally. There you go. See a little bit more there. The uh, plant line. So, yes, the canal's turning green as you can see, it's duckweed. Unfortunately, because this canal doesn't get a lot of use, uh, it just multiplies blooms okay so i've caught up with the narrow boat just hold on a second are oh, you fine don't worry let the biker pass and she's going to go into the lock so the lock will open and she will be able to get to the higher part of the uh, canal so Hopefully we can go and watch how that's done. So, 
there wasn't a lot of water in this part of the lock <laughs> here where this narrow boat is all the way down there so it was hard for him to be able to do what he's doing now so he's had to let some water in and here goes he's going to open the lock Ooh. Looks like he has to wind the other lock. Don isn't actually winding the other lock. He's actually winding what's called a paddle gear and he's winding it with what's called a windlass. This will open the paddles up and the gates. So, yes, you can see that she's rising. There she goes. She'll continue to rise until she's at the suitable level. Here she comes. It's a very long process to deal with all these locks. See they're all the way down there. If you want to do things in quick time, living on a narrow boat isn't for you. Everything takes time. But it's a wonderful life if you have the time patience and there she is and here Fanny Summers comes through the lock oh he's getting back off Don's getting back off Oh, he's on tight, he's on tethering the boat. off she will go to the next set which Don has already opened up
Right, now we've caught up with Don doing, well, doing the process of going through a lock. We'll continue on with our walk. Guys, I'm back with Don. He had a bit of trouble and was stuck in the silt, in the mud, in the bottom of the canal, down there. So I stuck around a bit and he's having to pull the narrow boat through this lock. So oh, you can see this bridge here. This is a grade two listed bridge, Perry Barlock's bridge. There, and we're going to go underneath that bridge, and then we'll see a few more things that I'd like to point out whilst on this walk. This canal was actually built in 1830, no it wasn't, it was commissioned in 1839, but it was actually built in 1844. And the reason it was built was because, <clears throat> excuse me, the reason it was built was because there was a lot of congestion all the way back in this direction going all the way back up to more or less up to the city centre Birmingham city centre and this particular part of the canal it, which isn't on the Tame Valley Canal um, was called Farmers Locks Bridge and Farmers Locks Bridge had a lot of congestion and obviously back in the olden days they would transport things via the canal on a regular basis so the canals would get a lot of use a lot of use so they used to transport coal steel i would imagine um a lot of things all to the industrial areas and to ferry out onto other canals to get them to other areas of the country. So let's go underneath this bridge. Oh, we're uphill again. Keeping fit, it's all good. Let's go up here, see what's up here. Oh. Another again, long way down. There you go. In fact, let's go up on this bridge. If we go up on this bridge, we can then get a better view of the locks going in that direction. Commonwealth Games again. There we go. There we go. You can see 
the sets of locks down there and then at the end you can see the cars and the vans going past I can't zoom in any further I'm afraid and that's the motorway so now we're going to approach what's the lock key the lock keeper's cottage it's a bit of a mouthful to say there you can see it there so the lock keeper so the lock key lock keeper here we go again the lock keeper master i think that's what it'd be called i might be wrong there to be fair uh would come out do the locks for the uh barge users uh, narrow boat sorry users so he would come out and help along the ca the canal and the locks and i assume he resided there but unfortunately it's a bit in of a disrepair at the moment it's boarded up the windows at the bottom and to be fair i think it is up for sale and it needs re you know a little bit of restoration and put to good use i'd love to live there i really really would love to live there but it's a lot of money let's go back round here see what's around here oh look we've caught the errand how amazing how was that for timing there he is Right, let's continue on our walk. And he's another narrow boat. Bit of a rarity this. There you go, pause for thought. Right, we're keeping on walking. The canal is still green. This is a lovely little walk to be fair. It's nice and lush with the greenery, the trees on the canal banks. Then the bridge up above is called Free Bridge. And the awesome thing about Wreath Bridge is that it was, when it was constructed, the same time as the canal, it was actually cut into 200 million year old, yes, you heard that right, 200 million year old sandstone. Just take that in. Can you actually imagine that? That actually when they were building this bridge, they ha had, they had to cut into 200 million year old sandstone. How amazing is that? I can't even comprehend that. See, that'll be some of the... 
rock sandstone maybe I think it's sandstone There it is. There you go. So they have to ex excavate into into this rock here. It's two hundred million years old. I mean, come on! Wow. I don't know if you can actually hear clearly enough, but just listen to the birds. You can't actually see them, but you can hear them. Carrying on walking, and just ahead is where we're going to stop next. Oh, just look at that. Where's the sun? There she is. She's having a whale of a time resting right by the canal side. Lovely cat. There she is. Kitty. There you go. She gave us a quick look. We're coming up further to the bridge now, up there. This is Pier, I Pier Island. Now I'm not really too sure what this was used for. I mean, I've seen them before and they're usually where you would pay a toll to use the canal. I don't know if that's what it was used for. I assume it was. So there used to be some kind of construction on there. I would take it. And then they used to take your pennies if you wanted to travel on the canal. So this is an area 
between this bridge and around about here I would say this is an area that was used by oh, Canada Goose Hello This is an area that was used by the local coal mine called Hampstead Colliery and they used to bring the barges narrow boats to this area and fill it with coal and then off the barges and the narrow boats would go Hello, with the coal being distributed to different places, power stations even. <laughs> oh, throughout the canal network and the area. There's a very sad story um, to do with the uh, Hampstead Colliery. Unfortunately, in March 1908, March the 4th, I think it was, um, there was a massive, massive fire underground in the mining tunnels. And unfortunately, 26 miners um, lost their lives. How sad is that? It went on for quite a few days. They ended up having a rescue team all the way from Yorkshire to try and help to rescue um, miners that they may have thought were still alive on the next day after it struck the fire struck this team came down and um, there was one particular um, member of the rescue team that lost his life so 25 miners lost their lives and one rescuer from the search team um yes so how sad is that his name was john wellsby i'm not sure of his age um yes and he died trying to rescue these poor poor people who perished in the fire I'll just stop here and let you listen to the birds again. How beautiful. It's like a little haven when you walk down this stretch. I can hear the squirrels again, but I can't see them. Uh, oh. Okay then, so this bridge here how tall this bridge is. I don't know if you can make out how tall it is. This is called Chimney Bridge.
such a tall bridge. She's a favourite of mine just because it's so tall. Looks like they're having work done to the next bridge. But this is the bridge where I'm going to stop filming in a minute or two this also is a listed say building but it's a structure isn't it so it's a listed structure And this is where I'm going to end. I really hope you enjoyed your little tour of this part, this stretch of the canal. This part. Thank you for joining me. And please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. I'd really appreciate it if you could do that. I'm back, coming back, going home, checking out. Thanks everyone.